Hello, welcome to Akida, where we train for just over and structural engineers. My name is Fashe Uchet. Uchet. Today, we want to see how we can model our polines. And as you can see, modeling this poline is different from normal one. If you go on YouTube, you will discover that yeah, it's very difficult for you to see the modeling of poline of a structure with different width. You can see this, uh, this uh, structure here that the width from here to this place is from here to this place and also from here to this place. Then how you, do you model your polline in such a way that it will be accurate? You can see that it's different from this one here. As you can see this one here, <coughs> excuse me. As you can see this one here, the width is the same all through. So it's easy to do what? To model your polline. So as you can see it from this point to this point is the same thing all through. So it's very, very easy to do what? To model your polline. So, but if you look at this particular structure here, you discover that we are having different width in this structure. So, how do you now model your polyline in such a way that it will be accurate? There is something I'm going to show you as we continue. You discover that if you want to model this uh, structure the same way you are, you model this one, you discover that you will be having a curve, curves. In fact, not just curve, curves. So, to avoid that, how do you now model your polines? That is why in ECDEL we ensure that the knowledge you need to have you actually have it. If you go on YouTube, you will never find something of this nature. All you have been seeing is what? It's always what? A straighter structure. But today in ECDEL, we want to show you how you can model your polyline of a structure with different width without having what? Any curve. As you can see, as you can see it, as you can see, from here to here, accurate. Is that okay? So, and also the width from here to here is different, but as you still have your what? Accurate um, polyline. So all of this, I'm going to be showing you in this uh, in this lesson. In case you have not subscribed to Ekdel, I want to say you should please quickly do so and do what and click on the subscribe button. By doing that, you are telling us that what you should do more, and at the same time, you are encouraging us to do more. And at the same time, I want to say click on the like button. So therefore, let's go there with joy in our heart and see how we can model this our polyline. Thank you. This is part two. We have done part one of this particular structure. Part one, whereby we model our what? Our trusses. As you can see, we have modeled our trusses. So looking at the back here, it's a different what? A different building, a little bit close to this uh, main church. So therefore, let's see how that can be done. In case you have not watched part one of this uh, steel trusses, how to roof, uh, have a, your roof, how to have your roof member with steel, I want to say that you should go and watch the part one of this structure. Thank you, and let's go there. Hello, welcome back. Now, as you can see, in part one, we have done the trusses for this particular church, for the roofing of this church. So today, as we have rightly said, we want to see how we can, you know, arrange our polyline. And please, I want to say, you should listen very, very well and watch very, very well, carefully. So that's why I'm going to take my time to do this. Now, ideally, if you have a straight church, that the edges here, the width from here to here, is the same thing to the width at the back, at the end. It's very easy to do what? To model your polines. But in this case, let me set an example. And I want to say that when you want to put your polline on your trusses, it is advisable and it is correct that you should be at your 3D level. You can see I'm what? On my story 1, do 3D. On 3D, that is story 1 or story 2. As long as we are what? On 3D level. Very, very important is that okay very very important so now looking at this i want to say that if you want to do your polyline be at 3d and there are ways in which you can do your polyline depends on the kind of structure if it is straight type i mean straight whereby the width from here to this place is the same thing from the width at the back then you can just click on the first polyline sorry on the first trusses and the last trusses automatically your polyline will be generated accurately instead of doing it one after the other. For example, I'm going to show you an example from here. What I want to do now is just an example. Is that okay? I'm going to show you an example from here now. So therefore, let me click on my polyline. You click your polyline and then come and click the first truss. This one and then this one. So let's wait and see. You can see it now. So if I now click on, if I should now click on um, OK, so you can see it. You can see my polyline now. You can see it, isn't it? You can see it and then if i want to do the other one i click on this and also on this it comes and also what click on this now to avoid doing one after the other though in terms of modeling sorry in terms of uh, analysis and uh, design this one can help you 
so that you don't have much of it. Then if you want to also not to waste time at this point, all you need to do, let me del delete this one and also delete, sorry, let me see, also delete uh, this one here. Now good. So for example, if I want to, you know, meet up, all I need to do is to click on my poll line and then click on the first one and then the last one. So automatically it comes and then I click on what? Okay, let's wait and see it. So you can see automatically what all have been generated. Why? Because I'm using this method because the whole of this place, the width from here to this place is what? They are the same. Are we together? They are the same. So you can see within some seconds, we are done with what? Modeling our poll line. But in this case, whereby we have a different width. For example, let me set example again. You can see that the width from here to this here is more than this place, isn't it? You can see the extension here. You can see the extension here and likewise at the other side so therefore let me click on my pull line sorry let me escape okay so let me click on my pull line click on this pull line click on this and this one so let's see and then okay you can see now you can see our pull line covering can you see it you can see how the pull line is covering so you can see it now you can see how the pull line is covering isn't it so now let's come to this place again on this particular one that the width is even smaller compared to others so you can imagine what you are going to be having click on this one okay let me escape first okay all right so now click on this one and also on this and then on this and let's wait and see and then click on okay that's what i see so you can see it you can now imagine you can see you can see how it's coming you can see it you can see how it's coming and in a real in a practical sense this is not okay this is now to what to roof isn't it so now what is it what are we going to do to avoid all of this you can see the straight one, the one that we started from here, from this point, from this point to this point. Accurate, no problem. But because we are having different width, that is where we are facing this challenge. Now, therefore, how do you now model such a building like this? So I bet you, by the time we finish this one, any structure given to you in terms of roofing, steel, steel roofing, you will discover that you are good to go. Whatever kind of shape that they are having, either they are having different width, up to 50 up to 100 uh, it's none of your business why because you know what to do that is why Ecredel is there for you and as i've always said that in case you have not subscribed try and do what and subscribe by doing that you are telling us you need more of our services and you're at the same time encouraging us not only that try and click on the like button so therefore let's enter into the main business have we shown you this that these are the things you are going to face when you're having a different width but now i want to teach you how that can be can be solved so therefore let me delete all these poor lines it's okay so let's go there with the joy in your heart and in my heart, being an academic, uh, academic member, I want to say you are welcome. So therefore, let's start. Okay. Now, once you are here, once you are at this point, this place and this place, they are different, isn't it? So you are going to model this place differently. Is that okay? So all I need to do, all I need to do is to click on my pull line, first of all, isn't it? And come to this place. Or well, let me start from here. Let me start from here. This first set. Click on this one and on this one. Do this now. So have not come to this place, then what you need to do now come to where we call this place. No? We now come to we now come to this place called generation method. You see generation method. This one is by trusses, isn't it? So you click on it and come to what by spacing. Isn't it? So if you click on by spacing, this place will be what this is a layer style will be what will be available for you what to edit. Is that okay? But if it's at joint you just see that default there's nothing you can do you see it's not coming up so but you change it to by spacing on that generation method and mind you i'm using portal 2022 if you go to portal 2018 you might not really have all of this i work together you might not really have all of this so the best thing when it comes to steel design i would say you should try and get the software called portal 2022 is that okay so now come back to the business so you click on the generation method and click on this button here then you see by trust joint which is a, a set at default but this time around because of different width you will click on what by spacing and okay it so then when you click on by spacing you now come to layer style on this layer style come to this place and set by by perpendicular from shorter or perpendicular from long whichever one so therefore let's look at this and see what is going to happen as i click on them by shorter so do you see it now have you seen it now so do you see it do you see it you can see that Ekdel, we are out to indeed train civil future and structural engineers. So you can see it now. So you can see it. So now, having done this, I can now click on what? On my OK button. And let's see. So you can see it accurately. So you can see. You can see accurately. 
So having done this, they main from this place to this place because they also have different width, isn't it? So therefore, I also click on my escape. First of all, escape, yes. Now, come to this place, click on this one and also the other one and let's wait. Is that okay? They still on by what? By spacing, isn't it? By spacing and by shutter. So I can also do what? I can click on what? Okay. Do you see it now? Are you seeing it? So, but there's something I want to show you. Let me right click again and then click on property. Let's go back. Okay. Now, this place, I want to make it 75. Just be watching here. Just be watching. Let's see. I'm coming. 75. Okay. Let me go back to, let me make it 200. and make it by, sorry, 200. Okay. Let me go to that place that I shot and make it by long. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it back. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where is it? By shutter is better. So, and then by top, let me see, by the top. No, let's remove it. So, come to this place and have our accurate uh, this and make it a uh, two, sorry, 75, 74. Okay, let's make it a uh, 25. Good. So, you can see it towards the edge, towards the edge. So, I can now click on what? On OK. So, you can see, very OK. So, having done this, you can now see it now. You can see it web model and all of that. So now, having done this, let's now come to this place to that other side. So you click on this your polline, escape first, escape first, click on your polline, click on this one where you stop, and then to the last one here, to the last one here, which is this, and click and let's wait for it. So you can see it here, it's still the same thing by what by spacing and all of that. So I click on what okay, and let's wait for it. So you can see it, so you can see our work, you can see it now. So you can see that that curve is no longer there. You can see that that curve is what? It's no longer there. Now, coming to this place again. So this is how you model it. If you have different width. Is that okay? So, but looking at the structure from actual drawing, this one is separate building. Is that okay? This one is separate window, somehow close. So all I need to do, because this place is as if they are going to use a wood. Wood. But I cannot just leave it like that for the sake of this video. I cannot just leave it like that because the span is, uh, is small. Because the way they are going to roof it is not the same direction of this one. So I'm just using it for your, for your train. So therefore, all I need to do is click on this and then this one and then the last one. So I wait for it. Okay, let me escape. Let me escape. Let me escape. Okay, so click on my pull line. Then click on this and then this one and wait for it. So you can see it. See the same by what? By perpendicular from shutter. Is that okay? And at the same time, what? Spacing. Don't forget the method we use. And then come to this and click on your okay button so that is that so you can now see that you have successfully especially here and this field i have different width we have successfully what model our what our pole line is that okay we have successfully model our what our pole line so this is how you do it because if you follow the other method that if you go on youtube you discover that you can't find this, what you are doing now you can't find it on youtube that is why we saw the need of bringing up this kind of structure that we're able to do, to show you how you can model your uh, pole line accurately despite the difference in width of the structure is that clear so that is that and if i want to put my cloud in so this part two of the this is the part two we have done part one and this is part two so to model our choices and also put our what our cladding so but in part three that's where we are going to do our loading our loading at the same time if time permit we also do our what our analysis why the design will now be maybe part, uh, part four is that okay? I would advise you to follow us because this structure, we are going to start from beginning to the end. We are going to generate our drawings. Is that okay? Our details, everything, we are going to do it right here in Ekidel. Is that okay? So try and follow us from beginning to the end. This is just part two. We still have a long way to go because we are taking our time to reduce the length of this video at the same time for your for better understanding. Is that okay? So that's the one we have done. If you are able to understand it very well and practice it very well, you discover that by the time we finish this lecture, you are good to go when it's come to what? To steal design. Is that okay? So that is that. So therefore, let me my clouding and click on any of the I click on this. There's something also I would like to show you. Is that okay? When it comes to clouding, there's something I want to show you. Because of different width, isn't it? We are having a what? Different air width, isn't it? So you can see our clouding. Then let's come to this place and put our clouding and let's see what will happen. I click on this and then I click on OK. So now you can see we are done with our clouding. But if you notice, is you're having this curve here. Do you see it now? We're having this curve again, isn't it? So how do you also solve this one? I say, welcome to Ekidel. Now, looking at this, in case you have not subscribed, I want to use this medium to say, try and subscribe. As I rightly said, when you subscribe, you are telling us we should do what? We should do more. And not only that, for you to encourage that we should do more, 
please any of your friends who want to be a structural engineer or who want to learn how to design very well i want you don't hide your knowledge that's why make them don't hide knowledge whatever thing you have try to share it by in inviting them to what to Ekidel. let them also watch our videos and also what subscribe and like our video also so therefore let's see how this one can be solved is that okay so now i click on it and then right click on it and come to what select and load property what i say select and load property click on it and then you can see it here you can see them you can see that this uh, this point this ball this ball here that look like ball is telling us where you are is that okay your point so looking at this space you can see it this is uh, a group one p1 pull line one is that okay pull line one so therefore all i need to do at this point here if you change the value let me say i want 200 outside you see it's inside is that okay it's inside let me show you something about this place okay let me take my time to show you please listen very well now this 200 is taken in inside i say minus what 200 i click outside so you can see the extension outside from the pole line is that okay if i want 400 outside it depends on you so if i want 300 i'll say minus what 300 so you can see now that's it has a it has extended outside isn't it so that's how you do it but in a situation where i want to take this one inside this is the edge this edge here is on this line is that okay so let me finish this line then i will now show you this other side of it so now having done this at this point you see it's at the other side let me see now this one okay this one is this side is that okay so let me make it a uh, um 600 and see so okay 600 is that okay 600 is okay and let me make this one minus 200 okay let me still make it uh, i think it's okay i how ca you can see it from there isn't it you can also watch and see i think it's okay so just look at it and see the extension outside if it's what if it's okay with you so that is that then you haven't done this other side what about this other other side so let's go there and see since this one is minus this one is going to be what 200 sorry 200 is that okay so you can see outside and this is this one is a plus 600 automatically this one will be what minus what 600 so do you see it now so you can see it so you can see it now so all i need to do now i haven't done this one show you this one this that's for this line this place now what happened to this place what's the function of this place now let me show you welcome again to ekidel please try and subscribe to our channel and also invite others to subscribe is that okay and like this video so now coming to this place let's see how to extend or reduce this place so i come to this place i come to this place here and click on let's see i'm saying 500 so you can see i'm taking it inside so do you see it now i'm taking this cloud in inside so if i now say outside i want to be outside like minus let's say 200 300 let's say 300 so you can see it it has extended this outside do you see it now it has extended it outside do you see it so now if i come to this other side that's for this side what about this other side let me see which one okay you can see it here let me also see um let's say 200 300 also 300 let me see okay that's inside and now make it what minus 300 so you can see it now so equal so this now that's for this other side then when it's come to this other side how do we do it come to this place let me see this place okay this place again i make it what 300 you can see extended outside are you watching so now let me come to this place again and see what may what am i having it's also what 300 watch do you see now extended outside so that's how to do it is that okay that's how to do it so if i like now i can now click on okay but i don't want this so it depends on the structure so that's what you do is that okay so that is that so all i need is this edge is that okay for now or if i like i can put it but that's how basically that's how to do it and now click on what on okay so let's watch what will happen okay so you can see it now so you can see it you can see it i know you're happy isn't it so you can see it so we are done with this video now so these other ones that is at least i've shown you so you can now go and practice the rest for yourself because to reduce the length of this video so that's why at this point we are going to stop okay let me just do this one let me just put this one here let me just put this one here click on this and um this one and sorry on this one and let's wait okay it's okay so that is that if you want to do any editing so that one can be done okay let's watch and see so you can see it now so if you want extension out to cover this uh, your trusses definitely isn't it when you are doing your know practically your roofing sheet is always extend out by i think it's a three inches by three inches or so isn't it by 75 or uh, 75 mm isn't it always extend practically so in ekdel we don't only deal with um, with theory we talk out of experience we talk out of what we are facing uh, or what at the on field because we are both uh, structural design at the same time civil engineer we carry out what the construction is that okay so that is that 
So welcome to Ekidel once again. I want to say that if you want to encourage us, try and subscribe to Ekidel channel. By doing this, you are encouraging us to do more, and at the same time, you are saying that you like what we are doing, and that's how you need to. That's why you need to click on what on the like button. Thank you very much. Till I see you in part three, where we'll be doing what loading this our roof trusses at the same time, um, analyzing if time permit, we can start what the design. That will be part three. So therefore, for this part two, I want to say goodbye. Till I see you next time. Sorry, we have an academic mentorship class where we train further. Like here, where we train further than what we are doing. Like now, we are only concentrating on this uh, pole line. There are other things that we need to put into consideration, which because that's not our area of concentration, we are not being, it's not being mentioned on in this place. But when it comes to academic mentorship class, that is where we train you to show you the nitty gritty of everything. Is that okay? So I want to say, if you want to enroll, it's very important you enroll for further calculation and for further understanding both manually and also in terms of how to use the software called portal structure and also we have a what we call academic group whereby we have other engineers that have come together where we join together that if anybody of us as engineer or structural engineer is having a particular challenge you can post it and before you know it other engineers quickly respond to help you solve the problem and when any other person sent a particular challenge and you have the idea to it why not you also quickly respond because we are looking for a way to make this world a better place for us when it comes to engineering so thank you very much once again god bless you till then in part three bye